Hello everyone, welcome back to another super happy play mission of the Scorp Enterprises. Uh, this time it's actually not a Microsoft issue that I'll be fixing. It's actually an open source software issue that I'll be fixing. Which, as you can see, is this one right here. It is Streamlabs OBS. Now, the problem that a lot of people have been facing with their recent update is this crap. Many of you shit. See? You can resize it, but not that well. So obviously, if you came down here, you can move down a little bit, but that's not really helping. That's not what you want. Nobody wanted this many feet to end the way in the first place. So this is actually how you get rid of that bullshit. What you want to do is you come over here to where you see this little. Thing. It looks like the window icon, but it's actually panels for a layout editor. Now, this is the original one. This is what it used to be. Now, this will actually be default with some other shit, but this is pretty much what it used to be. A stream to play. This we're gonna move because nobody wants mini feet. Nobody ever cared about mini feet. That's what we have our. Uh, pop up notifications for. So we're going to put scene selector over there and source selector in the middle like it was and then the audio mixer all the way on the right. That's how it was originally. Then click save selection and see how you see it moved out. Now we have no more mini feed. Our windows back to normal where it was. And then we have our sources, scenes, and our mixers. That's the way it was originally. That's the way we must have liked it. Nobody asked them to change it, but that's how you change it back. So I hope this helped someone. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Feel free to leave a like to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Until then. Have fun, be good, don't kill anyone. I know it's fun, but you know, it is fun upon my society, so I wouldn't do it if I were you.